Kim has a question. I am so happy that you guys are using using the quilting designs in places that they weren't designed for. Um, Christine is doing that with her temperature quilt and Kim, it turns out, is also going to be doing that. Um, so Kim says, I'm wanting to use the quilting designs that were used in the corner section pieces of Yellow Submarine. Um, and with Yellow Submarine, we actually had those corners on a checkerboard grid, which was pieced. Um, so that had lots and lots of alignment points all built into it. But what if you plan to make something that is solid and doesn't have those? So Kim, your, um, your first thought of using water soluble stabilizer, drawing a grid on that, basting it to the quilt sandwich, and then using that as a guide, I love, and that's exactly what I would do with one minor change. I okay. wouldn't use the water soluble stabilizer because that would will be get very gluey. I would now let me just ask you one thing Are you thinking of marking up the quilt top before it's layered and basted? No, or I was going to layer and baste it. It's, it's going to be in a garment. Okay. And so I, I wanted it to be quilted both sides. And if possible, I want it to be reversible. So I got to work that out yet. Yeah, but that's why I thought the water soluble, when it's washed, it would dissolve. If it's if it's a garment, then yes. If, if it was a whole quilt, I would say that that's going to take you such a long time to get the water soluble stabilizer out. But if it's a garment, that's going to be much smaller. So yes, then that's a brilliant way of doing it. So mark okay. up the water soluble stabilizer first. Use that as your grid and then wash it out. Yeah. Now, um, you could also use a heat soluble stabilizer. If, I haven't um, seen those. Does OESD have one? Um, I think, no. I think the one that I've seen is Floriani or RNK. Okay. Um, what? So let's, um, you're marking up the stabilizer and then you already have your quilt sandwich, right? Right. And then are you thinking of putting the stabilizer on the top of the whole quilt sandwich or we we'll haven't decided that yet. If there's on a risk the that or... out, there might be a problem, I might put it on the inside. So, you know, it, it may take soaking it in, in water and then running it through a wash cycle possibly too and to get it out. If there's gonna be any possibility that it's gonna get gunky or have residual left on it, then I would put it on the inside so it wouldn't be quite so obvious. Well, if you put it on the outside, either on the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter which, but if it's on the outside, then there's no reason why you couldn't use just a regular tear away. But and when then to mark the stabilizer up, you've, you've got your quilt sandwich over here, you've got your mark stabilizer over here, put it either on the top oh. or the bottom and stitch your grid lines and then get rid of all of the stabilizer and then do your quilting. I and then see. you don't okay. have to worry about any stabilizer inside that needs to be washed out. That sounds better, a lot better. Because um, if, you, if you think about it, if you were gonna have the stabilizer inside the sandwich, then at yeah. some point you've either got the top not attached to the batting or the bottom, the backing fabric not attached to the batting. In which well, yeah. case you could just mark up the top by itself. Right. Yeah, because it's gonna it's gonna quilt all three layers, the top, the batting. I'll probably use the bamboo batting and then the um the backing. 
it'll quilt through all three layers so it can be yeah. seen from either side. And you'll also, if you make up your quilt sandwich and mark it with stabilize the sat on the top, then that thread marking will also do a really good job of basting everything for you. True, true, yeah. And it should be really simple just to rip the stabilizer off once you've used it. Yeah. Once, once you've done the marking. Okay. Well, I think, I think I might use I think I might use water soluble thread on the the base the basting because um and I, then I would only have the back to pick some pieces that might stick because the quilting would go over the lines you know cuz mm -hmm. you work with when you work with that design you've got three or four squares going both directions when you're placing that design there. So that's why I was thinking of that. Yeah, the grid actually, I, if I remember correctly, we've actually got two different versions of the quilting. One is for the smaller hoops, in which case you've got a three by three design. Yeah. Which is a six inch grid. And the other version is a four by four design, which um, you need the eight inch, it's essentially an eight inch grid. Yeah, I uh, I think I used the larger design, but but then if I I used regular thread in the bobbin and the water soluble on the top, water soluble would come out of the top, and I should be able to just slide the bobbin thread out of those areas if uh, if they're stitched over by, with the quilting, it would make yeah. it a little bit easier. Yeah. That, okay. that should work really well. Um, Great. Marilyn popped in the chat. OESD does have a heat soluble stabilizer called Heat to Go. Okay, I'll look for that. Thanks, Marilyn. And Red Rock Thread has it. Yeah, I didn't know about that one. I'm pretty sure the one that I've had before is either Floriani or RNK. Okay. Well, I, I've never seen it, but I usually buy online, so I don't. I'm not one to go in and just see what everybody has because I usually wind up walking out with a whole lot more than I wanted to just get when I went in. So it's, it's safer, easy to do, online. isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm excited that you found a completely different use for the yellow submarine designs, and I'm really excited to see what you do with it. Well, um, I am uh, really excited to try to start working with that. It's an idea I've had for a while, and when I switched, when I stitched that out on that yellow submarine quilt, I just thought that particular quilting design and how that all worked, it was just so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I thought that would be really pretty in a garment. And, uh, mm. you know, because that's something your people see when, when you're up close with people and the quilting was just so pretty you could almost do something with just the quilting and not have to worry about anything else but yeah it, it was it, that one was outstanding so well, and i'm, I'm gonna so have a lot of fun like with it. your new with your new collection all those hearts there's so many possibilities my mind was already thinking of stuff so. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a reason why on the sales page it says, you know, on the applications, especially you've got quilts and table runners and placemats and a hundred other different things. Cause I don't know if I'm ever going to have time to stitch up all the ideas that we've got for them. So yeah, well, glad I, you like it. Yeah. Do I have, a, I, I, I will never get everything stitched up that I want to make or use all the fabric I have or use all the patterns I have. <laughs> you know what that's a really good problem to have i think yeah yeah i'm blessed so thank you sarah i appreciate your help you are welcome kim